So I'm going to show you how to get big hair using dry shampoo. Uh, dry shampoo we typically think about for day two hair or oily hair or something like that. A really great way to use it is more as a texturizing spray, which is how we're going to use it today. So we are going to concentrate a little less emphasis on the root and a little bit more all throughout. So as I go along, you'll see that I am spraying it kind of from root to the mid shaft, and that's going to give us a lot of great texture happening all throughout. So I'm going to start on the underside of the hair. This hairspray is Bricado's Big Easy. It's one of my favorites. I would definitely, for this type of style, use a dry shampoo that was not colored because, like I said, you will be going over more than just the traditional. So I'm going to start close to the root, and I'm going to zigzag all the way up. I'm going to drop that hair down. I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to basically go through and do that everywhere. And I will say, a uh, number one fear why people don't use dry shampoo is they're afraid that it's going to leave a white residue in their hair, especially if they have dark hair. I try to use this hair powder one Halloween to give somebody the illusion of gray temples. I thought it would work just fine. He has really dark hair. I could not get it to last no matter how much I used. It always dissipated. So don't be nervous that even if you see a white powder to the hair, it will not stay. So now, especially in the crown, I'm just lifting the hair up and massaging it in. All right. Now, it's already pretty big, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the model flip upside down and then I'm going to actually brush through her hair. So go ahead and toss under. Actually, might as well put a little bit more in. Certainly not a thrifty way to use hair powder, but who cares? Also go in with a blow dryer on a cool setting and do it that way. All right, go ahead and flip up. So as you can see, just by using dry shampoo in a new way, I've given her a full look without um, teasing or anything like that. And it's just given it a very beachy texture. This is really beautiful on blondes especially. Uh, but like I said, don't be afraid to do something like this if you have a little darker hair also. The cute thing to do too would be to go in and maybe put some curls in. Maybe just bump it around the face. Something like that. Just to give it a little bit more purposeful look. Do the same here on the other side. And that is one of my favorite ways to get big hair using dry shampoo.